Hey everybody, Mulky Films here. This is a quick review of the Tester uh, line uh, gas powered airplane. And it's uh, line controlled, uh, meaning that uh, you string a line through there almost like a kite and uh, it will fly around you. Um, and you hold it and you spin around. And uh, what's interesting about this is, uh, well, a couple of things really. Uh, one, uh, this is a, I believe it's a gas powered uh, engine on here and uh, it does have uh, some compression when you spin it and uh, I don't know how well you can see this, oh, let's spin it the other way here but uh, you can see the uh, piston moving up and down it's, uh, it's right here there it is yep so that's it and uh, I believe that's where uh, you put your uh, I think your glow plug and uh, that would be, well anyways, I haven't quite figured all that out yet. Uh, but this is a uh, tester's model uh, made in the USA. And it looks like this gear retracts, so I haven't quite figured out if it actually does. Um, I'm trying to be kind of delicate with this thing because uh, I'm not sure how old it is. Um, another thing on here is that uh, this little uh, control right here, uh, if you look at the back elevator here, it actually controls, well, actually it's better if I adjust this. Um, I don't know how well you can see that. Oh, there we go. But as I'm pushing it up and down, just like, just like so, you can see those parts are moving in and out. So you can control the, uh, the lift, basically, um, or the angle of attack, or the pitch up, if you will. And, uh, yep, it's got a, uh, four bladed prop on the front there and it looks like it's pretty easily removable this is made out of plastic and the body um, almost feels like it's uh, I guess it is plastic but it almost feels a little bit uh, like a little kind of a stiff rubber almost anyways uh, this particular model is in uh, fairly good shape as you can see the leading edge on the wings here not a lot of scrapes or scratches I uh, don't know how well you can see this. Let me try to adjust my lights here. There we go. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the leading edge is in pretty good shape. Not too many scuffs. Um, looks like this was uh, maybe partially painted, or maybe it was painted that way as kind of a uh, camouflage. Uh, but anyways, uh, I think this one will probably be going up on eBay. I uh, don't really have any intention of uh, running it. Um, partly because I really, when it comes to this stuff, I really don't know very much about it. I uh, just know it's very interesting, uh, very cool to look at. Um, some other uh, models like this, this motor, uh, and some of them is a .049 um, gas powered engine or nitro if, uh, if that's what you're running these things, I'm not quite sure. And uh, as far as where the fuel goes, um, not really exactly sure on that either but uh, anyways if uh, anybody had one of these um, send me a note um, if you know anything about it uh, send me a note looks like this bottom part is separating here maybe if you just stay tuned for just a minute I'll take a quick peek inside there it looks doesn't look like there's very much in there uh, looks like it just kinda clips together so it's a very simple design but it is very lightweight uh, is the other thing about it. So what I'll do here is I'll drag out my uh, my food scale or my shipping scale is what I really use it for. Um, so let's go ahead and see how much that weighs. It looks like it weighs about uh, four ounces. Not bad. So pretty lightweight and uh, again um, pretty small. I'm not sure what the scale on this is but uh, guessing maybe 148 or 172 um, really kind of a uh, model car guy I don't know the airplane models as well but I uh, do think it is a good representation and I believe now you'll probably correct me on this I believe this is a uh, possibly a Spitfire um, fighter not quite sure uh, it just says testers on the on the bottom it doesn't tell you what uh, exactly it is but based on the markings I would say that's probably a Spitfire maybe a, a hurricane um, anyways so uh, if you have any comments if I've totally butchered it and uh, want to correct me and call me out on it that's uh, that's fine too 
And uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and click subscribe and help support the channel. And thanks for watching Monkey Films.